yellow. Hey everyone, welcome back to another cleaning video. Thank you so much for joining me on this Thursday. I hope you are all doing well. Let's go ahead and jump into the video. I hope this brings you guys a lot of cleaning motivation and I hope you're cleaning right alongside with me. Let's go. Are you ready? You've been staring since I came in. I know you want to get to know me. Honestly, I came with my girls, wanna dance by ourselves Can't you tell? Baby, baby, I have thick skin Yeah, I don't let things get to me But do you want me to spell it out for you right now? I'm not feeling your vibe Crystal clear that you're head over heels But don't come any closer, my dear Cause when I get mad, I cannot control what might happen You think you can Put your hands on my body I'm no damsel in distress no. Come too close, I might just lose it I'll knock you down like boom, 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 boom I'll knock you down like boom, 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 boom I'll knock you down like boom believe I washed my pedometer man I was throwing the clothes in the dryer and I heard like a clunk and I was like what the heck was that so I was going through it and then I realized that the pedometer was still clipped to my shorts it's just like oh man ah anyways so it has been so flipping hot here you guys oh man like mid 90s just sun beating on your skin hot and i know there's a lot of areas that are experiencing even higher heat levels than that and if you are one of those people man i am so sorry Ooh, we like we i've had just everything closed in the house like blinds curtains everything just trying to make it as cool as possible in here and kind of you know save on that energy bill because ooh we um but one thing man i just i hate i don't like having like my child in the house all the time you know all day long and i just feel like it has been like that so much lately and it's it's absolutely driving me nuts you guys like we took him to the park the other day that you know it was about like 75 degrees it was really windy on that day i think when we went out it it went down to like 72 and he had a ball like he had pretty much the entire park to himself like we were out there for over an hour he was like sweating his little butt off by the end of it but i try to not have him in the house all day you know um i really want to 
give my son life experiences. That is something that we strive to do. Um, you know, I'm, I'm one of those um, parents that I don't, and like, okay, like, don't take this out of context. You know, I don't like buying him a bunch of things and toys and we do buy him toys. Don't get me wrong, but I would much rather spend money on like giving him life experiences and taking him out, you know, whether it's, you know, something small, like to the zoo or to the museum or, you know, taking him on trips, things of that nature. That's something that I really, really strive for. I really want to do. We really want to do, you know, as, as far as, um, you know, just, just giving him things of that nature. I know that everything costs money and, you know, especially when you go on like family trips and things like that, you know, things take time and, and stuff, but I just try, like, I want to, you know, take him to the library and things like that. One of the things that, um, if I'm being a hundred percent transparent with you guys, I absolutely love swimming. Like I love the water. I grew up in California. I was born and raised there. I know I've lived in Colorado for pretty much my whole, like the, this is the longest state that I've ever lived in my adult life and everything like that. But I am a water baby. I love the water so much. And like I said, if I'm being completely honest, one of the things, so the prosthetic that I currently have is motorized. So it does open and close. I have had this prosthetic for a couple of years now and I have done everything, you guys, everything in my power to try and get um, used to the weight. It is extremely heavy. Um, right now, the glove that I have, it slips off very easily. Um, I know that I need, to, I need to get fitted for a new prosthetic. They are extremely expensive, extremely, even with insurance. But all that to say is um, I can't go in the water with my prosthetic. Um, I used to have the old prosthetics that I used to have. I could go in the water with them because they won't, they, they weren't mobile. You know, I couldn't move them. And so um, that's just something that it's a confidence thing that I am currently working on. I will say that being on YouTube and putting myself out there has helped me a lot with that a lot but i'm not gonna lie and say that when i go in public you know when i'm in person it's it's different i still go in public with my prosthetic i have not conquered that fear yet but that is something that i am working on and it is something that i truly truly want to do i don't want to give a crap what people think about me this is my body i can't change it God made me this way for a reason. And I know that now. And um, yeah, it's just, I, I want to be able to go to the pool and have fun with my son and go in the water, you know, and not worry about what other people think or worry about people staring at me. They stare at me anyway. So it's just, that is something that I'm working on. And I know this may sound weird, but it's different when like I'm around people, especially people that like I know it it is like, it just makes me more self-conscious. You know, when we're around like friends, if we're like at the lake or something, I don't want to get in the water because, you know, I know these people and it's just, I don't know. That's, yeah, that's just me being a hundred percent honest. But anyways, so I am now in the living room and I am working with this janky carpet cleaner. I've had this carpet cleaner for forever. The main carpet cleaner portion does not work. I thought that the handle part worked, but as I was moving along, I realized that this really was not working. Does work. I made us worse. We fell apart a thousand times, a thousand times. You moved away. I'm here to stay. I wish I could go back in time, back in time. I'm so sorry that I hurt you so deep. Swear I spent the last few years just trying to change. I'm on my knees. I'm begging you, please Is there any chance you're thinking about me? If I change my place
So after I let the couch dry, I put the pillows and everything back. And as you saw, the soap on in the carpet cleaner wasn't even moving. So that's when I was like, okay, this thing is, is not working at all. And then when I drained the water, the water was almost clear. So I was like, okay, we, we definitely threw that in the trash. It's the next day now and I'm moving on to the bathroom and I'm going to get that nice and cleaned. I definitely need to get, we definitely need to get a new carpet cleaner, especially now that I, we did get some training underwear for sun and I definitely want to start with that. I want to get that process going for sure. I know that there's going to be tons and tons of accidents. And so all the more reason to get a new carpet cleaner. I know that I'm, I don't want to delay the process and keep putting it off. Um, I think maybe, I don't know, I'd need to start within the next couple of days and maybe just get like baking soda and vinegar and a rag and, you know, clean up the messes that way. In the meantime, until we get a carpet cleaner, it would nice, it'd be nice to have one now. Um, but yeah, definitely want to start that process as well. Um, so like I said, now I'm just, I'm just getting the bathroom nice and cleaned. This is the bathroom on our main level and the bathroom that we use the most every single day.
worth I can't take back, I can't stop feeling How about you? Thank you. 
I move the camera to this angle to finish the rest of the dishes and then notice that the camera wasn't recording. I was just like, ah, oh, my goodness. But I did get the remainder of the dishes finished, as you see. And then I'm going to go ahead. I went ahead and hit it with some Dawn Power Wash, the best stuff on earth. Got the sink nice and cleaned. The dishes are done finally. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the dining um the seating area and I'm going to get the chairs and table nice and washed down. I am going, um, I'm filling up this bucket with some nice hot water. I just put a little bit of dish soap in it and um, some pine saw, of course, my trusty pine saw. As you can see, the table is pretty dirty and the chairs are pretty dirty as well. They did have, you know, grubby stains, grubby hand fingerprints and all that stuff on it. So I'm just taking the rag and wiping everything down and getting it nice and cleaned. I ran away from heartbreak. Got nothing in return for my pain. I never thought I'd be so empty, so alone and afraid hey. Wasn't looking for a lover Nobody understood where I've been I guess I thought I needed more time to protect my love from potential offense so I I've got my little helper right alongside me. <laughs> he is just the best. Every time I clean, he is always trying to do something. He's always trying to get involved and he's talking to me and he's using his little spray bottle or a rag or something like that. It's absolutely adorable. I love it and I wouldn't trade it for the world at all. Thank you guys so much for being here. If you are new, hey. I hope that you consider subscribing for all things cleaning. The dining table is nice and cleaned and it smells amazing. 
I hope you are all doing well. If you are a returning viewer, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here. I will definitely see you guys soon.